Today, most of Sri Lankan students are willing to speak in English, but many of them can't, while others are achieving it. So I am here today to discuss about this matter with one of my own students. She's Delvi. Delvi, you are welcome to this program and thank you very much for being part of this conversation. Yeah, thank you too, United States. In the case of this, that means uh, in speaking in English, what do you think about the vocabulary? So how did you do it? Yeah, really sir. Actually, when we are speaking English, we want vocabulary well. It means we have to collect more and more words. Translating singular uh, words to English, that means that's for that purpose we want uh, vocabulary well. Uh, I got that uh, vocabulary from the um, dictionary and sometimes I speak with students uh, in your class. Actually, it was very helpful for me. That means uh, I'm speaking, when I'm speaking with them, I was hearing to their uh, spoke, speaking words and I'm uh, getting their uh, special words and I, the, I'm finding the uh, meaning of the hard, difficult words uh, and I got the words from them and I got um, especially from watching uh, English news I got some words from uh, them and um, those are the uh, way that I got the uh, vocabulary it means I improve my right. as well as uh, me, you are going to face for the oral exam this year yeah. so, so how the preparation for oral exam yeah, actually it is going well, but a little bit complicated with the, it is going postponing that. I don't know whether it will, uh, it would happen, but uh, still we haven't uh, faced for any exam very well. That means we still I have the scare for it, but I'm preparing well. Uh, that means in English, I have to say that uh, uh, there is a nothing doubt with the English. That is the, uh, that is because of you, because you uh, started to, uh, started to do oil pass papers in the beginning of the grade. Uh, so I think that's why I don't have any idea doubt with the English. Um, the other subjects also same. I'm doing a lot of uh, past papers and I'm doing uh, the school activities too. And uh, these days uh, I'm going with the lessons uh, that I inside in our uh, pupil school. Uh, <laughs> that is the way I'm preparing for the examination. Yeah. The other thing is the way. Uh, so. Now most of the students are going with the pupils book, but uh, you you gone with the uh, spoken side also. So what's the best way as you think? Yeah, so especially we have to improve our spoken ability because when we can see at the present, they all are based from English. So if we don't have any idea about the uh, English speaking ability, um, what we should be doing is we have to pay in the future. We have to face for the interview in English, and we have to um, we have to learn with the English at the university. So we have a lot of things with English. So if we use only the pure Facebook, what would happen for students? They can't, uh, they can't manage their language. They can't speak with the uh, English uh, anyone else. And uh, this time, I, I have to remember that I have to uh, say that um, the English is the language that uh, that gives the communication with others. It means if we know the English, we can travel anywhere at any time, and it means we can connect with others. That is very special uh, benefit of English. So if it is you use uh, the English. Pupils book is only and going in the English classes and uh, doing only the grammatical points and other things. It doesn't enough for improvement of your English ability. It means you have to speak in English. In the future, you can see um, the, the the all the countries are speaking English. So if we know the English, we can go with the, another country and we can uh, contact with the, we can communicate with any person in that, at their country. So I uh, uh, actually. This is a unique question. Do you believe that there is a connection between spoken English and uh, uh, exams? That means, especially, I'm asking about uh, the, the results of oral exam. Yes, actually, there is the, there is a. Then the question is that actually, how support how how spoken English ability is supporting to uh, get a good uh, pass for the oral English. Yeah, yeah, it's actually that is very um, a special question for me. I mean, uh, when I'm speaking English, I have words, more words. When I'm writing, uh, uh, say, or any writing in the 
uh, paper, I can use any word uh, that can come into that that come into my mind. That is a special um, benefit for improving the spoken ability. So I think there are a lot of students in my friends. They are uh, speaking. They are going to spoken classes, but they they don't use it. Means they don't use the words that that they learn. But in my case, I'm using them in the uh, writings and the, when I'm writing essay, I'm using it. Actually, that is the um, the main. That is the main benefit I'm getting from uh, improving this spoken ability when I'm having this app. Yeah, really great. So, actually, uh, most of the classes spoken in this class is also really they are being uh, practical, that is, they are reaching their practical points in the classes. So, but most of the other students are participating for spoken English classes nowadays, but all of the, when we consider about all of it, most of them can't speak English. Yeah. So, what are the reasons behind this, as you think? Yeah, actually there are a lot of reasons behind this. It means in our class, we are speaking with other friends well. It means that is very great opportunity for all of us. That means we have a chance to speak with others and we can share our thoughts with them. And they, they also giving us to, uh, some thoughts with them. We can, uh, we can get a lot of uh, experience from that. But in, uh, when, when we consider about the other spoken classes, we all, they, they always mainly focus on the, uh, the grammatical parts. And that is a my, one of my friends. Friend, and uh, she's going to the uh, going to a very uh, popular institute, and uh, she she doesn't like to speak. I don't know why because of, I think they're always doing grammatical parts and they they play they are playing games also. But it doesn't uh, need for the improving the spoken ability. We have to use it if you want to improve our spoken ability. We have to use the English. In our class, we are speaking in the, with others. So, so it is it is the place. It is the most appropriate thing uh, we should have to do. The other classes also. I don't know whether they are doing it. But uh, if they do so, it, mean, it means if they do uh, speak, if they speak with their students, it is very helpful for every student, every uh, student who are attending their class. Yeah, and uh, then me, as you think, what are the most important matters to speak in English? As you think. Yeah. First of all, I would like to uh, say uh, I would like to thank you, sir, because because of the uh, proper we, we want if we want to speak in English, we want a proper guidance. That is you. That's why uh, I am thanking you because of you. Uh, and we have to dedicate our time. And uh, there are a lot of things we have to do. First, actually, if you if you are speaking English, don't stop it. It means uh, when you are stop it uh, at the at the middle of your uh, middle of the, your uh, Time it doesn't uh, useful. It means if we are stopping the knowledge also going down, the spoken ability also going down. So I think we have to get, we have to always uh, use the English. That is the um, that is the main thing we have to do. And we have to read the story books and in, in English. And we have to speak with others. Don't be shy to speak with your friends because sometimes they don't know about the English. But uh, encourage them to speak in English. So it will help for all of you. It means if you are starting with the uh, other one to speak in English, they also think about, yeah, we want to speak in English. So that's why they also uh, try to find more words and they also try to make a sentence there. So they, they also try to manage this language. So uh, do so. It means uh, speaking in speaking English with your friends and uh, try to um, Try to translate English newspapers to Sinhala because they are giving. You also did so. Yeah, I did because of you. You saved me. Yeah, the in the in the beginning of yeah. our uh, class. Yeah, our class I did so. It means uh, I I get put off an uh, advertisement in the um, newspaper and I uh, can't. Yeah, yeah, really, I can remember you yeah. translated it. Sometimes you translate it. Big articles. Yes, uh, yeah. So it, it was a very helpful for me, and uh, we have uh, then then uh, this time I have to uh, say that the COVID nineteen pandemic season was very helpful for me. That means I I, I met you uh, in the beginning of the two thousand twenty. Then uh, that time uh, there was the COVID nineteen spreading very well, so we have a school. We have we had a school, so we have time to dedicate our time for English, improving English. Uh, that is the only um, goal that I achieved at that during that period and I'm very happy about that because of you I got this chance and I got I'm speaking that means here. you have you have taken the chances from even COVID-19 yeah sir why not sometimes it, I don't know whether you remember that 
we were speaking uh, more than one hour no, no, yeah. uh, especially i have to say i have to thank you always i'm saying that but uh, he was the, this is the person who helped me very well yeah finally uh, this is the last question yeah. so let me do you have any message for the students who are going to speak Yes, sir, I have. Sometimes you think, uh, yeah, I, you had think, yeah, I want to just speak in English. Sometimes you uh, refuse it. No, no, I haven't any kind of uh, things that we are doing. Uh, it means that we can't find any uh, proper guidance like that. But uh, this is just uh, who are doing very, very guide, very well guidance. So I, I invite if you can um, attend this, uh, attend to the Swamisar's class. It, 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 it would be very uh, great chance for all of you. And um, don't be scared to speak in English. I, I want to give that advice all of you because if we so, if we do so, it means if we start to speak in English, uh, what would be happen? It means uh, you can't speak in English if you so, if you think so. So dedicate your time for improving English because you you all can see at the present day English is a very um, basic language in the world. So if we want to go away from our country and we can we want English because if we if we don't know about the English, how we connect with others? So um, you. Spend your time with the use, useful things. It means sometimes uh, you now you can see uh, a lot of sources uh, available in Sri Lanka and all all of the country. We can access to the internet and we can get a lot of uh, benefits of it. But uh, sometimes uh, students don't care about that. It means they are playing games and they are they are they are spending, yeah they are chatting and they are spending their time for useless things. But we there are a lot of things uh, available in Sri Lanka. We can do a lot of useful things. Is, uh, among them is speaking, uh, improve your speaking at least very um, get a very remarkable uh, place of them. And I, th I all, I, I'm, uh, at last I would like to invite all of you to speak in English and try to speak in English and uh, don't uh, give up uh, speaking English. Uh, that is the uh, that is the last uh, advice I have to give all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.